Let's head into it. We have Mirio versus Dodger in the Grand Finals. We're going to start out. This is a best of five. We're starting out on Blood Run. We're going to be on Mirio, who's going to get the Mega, but not quite get that. The person standing on top tends to get the item in this due to the feet being the item pickup and the top of the item being the item pickup. Just to check that you're not going to uh, jump over an item quite so much. Still happens, though. Mirio. Getting Dodger very low. Both players extremely low there. Dodger manages to pick up that 50. And Mirio's just going to have to dodge back out of the way. Keep himself safe. Now I'm going to need to turn off the music. Complete unprofessionalism. Although it did make it sound pretty badass. It's just... It doesn't always. So... Mirio is our Crylink hero. Dodger has stood undefeated for about three years now. In tournaments. Undefeated overall. He has lost a few maps, but... We're here with Mirio, the Crylink hero. As Dodger picks up that Mega. We're coming up on the time. There's the item. Mirio goes bouncing off the wall. He's pretty much the only person who will go for ballsy shots like that. Dodger gets the first frag at a minute and 20 into the game. With that Vortex. But he's still low. He's got to get around. He's got to get out of the way and not take too much da damage. Mirio, extremely low. Dodger having to get out. He's definitely getting pushed here. Here's that. Doesn't quite make the rail shot, though. Here's the Mega being picked up, though. You can hear it from pretty much anywhere on this map. And there he goes again. Here's that item. Now, Dodger, in a bit of banter yesterday, has said he hasn't been playing 100%. In the grand finals against Champ that's have been recently. And he hasn't been... Well... Will Mirio force out that 100% play style that we want to see from him? Mirio's been playing extremely well today. And we've got to big him up. Maybe able to get this kill. There it is. One to one against Dodger. The tits come out. Now Mirio just skirting the edge of this map. We've got a little bit of time until the items are coming up. Dodger just sat in the back room. Mirio knows vaguely which corner of the map he is, but he's not sure where Dodger's going to be pushing, where Dodger's going to be sitting around, but he knows Dodger hasn't got the major items. He knows Dodger hasn't got a huge stack, and he's got to catch Dodger off guard. Goes in. We've got one second until the item, and there it is. Mirio, two to one against Dodger. We're three minutes into this. And Mirio's pushing Dodger hard. He's caught him off guard. He's got him down to extremely low health. Dodger goes through that teleporter. Mirio just going to be picking up the items. Ready for anything that Dodger can throw his way. Dodger extremely low. He's going to be waiting. You can see him. He was waiting there. He'll be just off screen here. And there he is waiting in that back room for an item or for Mirio to try and push in and take some perfect play from Dodger there. Absolutely in the right area to take it. Dodger's only just over the top. He's waiting for that armour to come up, but he hasn't got any armour of his own. He's going to push into Mirio. Mirio sees it. Mirio goes 3-1 to one up on Blood Run against Dodger. Now, if I remember right, this was Mirio's pick. But Dodger's certainly not shabby on any of this map pool. Neither of these players is particularly shabby on any of these maps. Dodger's recently been playing a lot of Tummer, which is... Probably the weakest map for everyone is it's the newest map and the most different to the rest of the setup. And yes, good control can work miracles in these sorts of games. We can see it right now. Dodger, he's not been pushed this hard in a very long time in Xenotic. And it, you can tell. 
You can act, you can see in the way he's playing. You can see in the fact that he's not managing to get any items. He's not managed to get control for the entire game, and he's on the back foot. Mirio does play with the arrow keys. He plays with a mouse and the arrow keys, though. He only does the movement. But Dodger has managed to find himself a kill. He's managed to find a bit of position. And he's launching a comeback from here. Look at the speed that Dodger plays at. So we saw Mario playing a little bit slower. And he was playing very controlled. Dodger, once he's got the control, this is why he's so good. We saw it took five minutes for Mario to mount five frags onto Dodger. And it took Dodger about 50 seconds to mount five frags back onto Mario once regaining control. He is just so quick it's not quite over yet though mirio is a very good player and we're of course only up to even right now but mirio is going to be able to get a little bit of armor it's going to be taken straight away as dodger hits the shots he'll be getting that feeling now you can tell he, he plays really fast on momentum, whereas Mirio plays on the momentum of the items more. Dodger plays on the momentum of the kills, and the, once you get those first few kills, he trusts a lot more in his aim. And once he's trusting in his aim, he's hitting shots like that. He's staying in the fight for a bit longer. You saw before he was pulling out of the fights. But now he's staying in the fight. He pushes more aggressively. Look at the aggressive pushing, using every weapon to the best of its ability. We know he plays a lot of clan arena and that's a lot of where this actually comes from. It's the multiple modes that uh, it's the multiple modes that Dodger plays that makes his style so kind of unique. But it's also the fact that he, he plays so much against non top level opponents on pub servers that he sort of he has to be so aggressive. Yeah, he's he's not been challenged. You can tell he's not been challenged for a while because his out of control play uh, isn't so good. Mirio's out of control play, however, not the best either, which is kind of puts these two guys into perspective. So if Mirio can take the control, but if he can't take the control, will he be able to pull it back? is probably the most important thing really. Mario's going to call for an end match though. So the first match goes 9 to 5 to Dodger.